Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about how to perform operations with polynomials of several variables. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help to use Minute Math. One thing that we've dived into already is just operations with polynomials, but it's been a single variable. And generally it's a variable x, but it's only one variable in the full or the whole expression that we're simplifying. The rules still apply that we've learned earlier when we have different variables, okay, or multiple variables within the expression, but we have to remember we can only combine our like terms. So for example, x plus y stays separate, right? In addition, x plus y is just separate, but we could multiply x times y, depending on how the operation asks us to write this, or how the, the question is formed. So let's dive with an example, and this should touch base on uh, many different questions that you might have. Our example here, example eight, let's multiply, we have x plus four times 3x minus 2y plus 5. And where this might differ isn't our final answer, but the order in which we write our terms. Okay, sometimes it might be a little different depending on which terms you want to write first. So our rules still apply though with distributing. We'll have to multiply the x by every single term in the second parenthesis and the 4 by every single term in the second parenthesis. I always say all terms of one parenthesis multiplied by all terms of the second parenthesis. So let's take our time here. We have x, the first term, times 3x minus 2y plus 5, and then I added to 4 being multiplied the whole parenthesis, 3x minus 2y plus 5. And this is a way to show your work. Sometimes you can do a lot of arches. That's how I like to do it uh, another way. <laughs> but I'm doing it this way because I think it really shows what's going on here. So now let's deal with each parenthesis individually. Uh, first thing again, you always want to check any like terms in the parenthesis to simplify. Nope, neither for this one. So now we can distribute. x times 3x is 3x squared, okay? x times a minus 2y is a minus 2xy and then x times a 5 is just a 5x, okay? Now, the 4 distributing plus here, 4 times 3x is a 12x. 4 times a minus 2y is a minus 8y, right? 4 times 2 is 8. Don't forget the negative sign or subtraction. And 4 times 5 is our 20 here, okay? So now we just want to combine our like terms, and I still generally like to follow having our highest degree first. That's the most common way of writing it, and probably the nicest way. Highest degree is I see x to the second power, so we have a 3x squared. Put a dot to show that I brought it down. And now we'll see the next ones. I like to put the xy's together now, since there's no other high degree. So xy, essentially there's two variables here. And this is only one of them that have xy, so we're going to bring that down, minus 2xy here. Now, let's go with deal with x's, because that was our first term here. So plus, we're going to combine the two x terms, 5x plus a 12x here. And then, we have no other x terms, we have a y, so we subtract an 8y. And lastly, we just have the constant, which is a 20. And I just double check, put dots underneath each term to show that I've used them. I brought them all down. We're good. Now let's just combine our like terms. Again, nothing with 3x squared. Or simplify, right? Minus 2xy. Got that all done. 5x plus 12x is a 17x. Then we just have the 8y. Bring that down. And a 20. And now we're all finished. We've just simplified our first polynomial, right, being multiplied together with different variables or several variables. Same rules still apply if you have multiple variables, more than just two. In this case, our variables were just x and y. So I hope you found this video informative. If so, hit a like button down below and subscribe to our channel. That helps us make more videos for viewers like you. And as always, thanks for watching.
Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math. 